This is the brand new Eufy S100 wall light cam. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it looks like installed and all of the cool features that are built right into it. It has a security camera and amazing lighting effects that you've got to see. I'm gonna throw it over at my friend John to see if he can install this because I'm not gonna give many instructions and he doesn't have a lot of tech experience, but it's super easy and intuitive to get up and running. And even though it is a hardwired unit, it is supposed to be easy to install in an existing light location. The S100 wall light camera from Eufy is brand new, and this is everything that you'll get inside of the box, including the installation hardware. Before you purchase the Eufy S100, I do recommend that you go around the exterior of your house and kind of plan out where you're going to install it, both for camera view angle, but also the proper lighting height. Eufy gives some very clear directions on how high and where they recommend installing this light. First step is always turn off the breaker. It's very easily installed on a wall where there's an existing light. I simply removed our existing outdoor light and unscrewed it, disconnecting the ground, neutral, and line. Visually checked out how it was going to look on the wall, but first we need to get this connected up to the Eufy app. I added a new device and found the wall light camera, selected it, and then scanned the QR code that is on the back. I was impressed with the installation process, all outlined very perfectly inside of the app, so do go through that as it literally explains everything you need to do, including scanning a QR code displayed on your phone. Connecting to the Wi-Fi network. Please wait. Setup was successful. This process took me literally less than two minutes, and I was ready to get this mounted and installed onto the wall so that I could turn it on and see how it looks for the first time. The ground line and neutral connections are labeled inside of the back of the camera device itself. I do kind of wish that they were labeled on the mounting bracket, but I really like that you can completely wire this up and the light is still removable without having to rewire anything. I tightened down the two small set screws on either side of the camera light, and I love how flexible this thing is. You can rotate the top and the bottom lights to point them exactly where you want them to shine. You can also rotate the camera 30 degrees in each direction. Before we get this fired up and I show you all the cool features of it, let's go over to John and see how he's faring. So my buddy, Michael Mansell from the Man Shed gave me the camera system here to install it. My home security system could stand uh, for an upgrade for sure. Using basically motion detecting lights with a fake camera system System. He's trying to scare people away. Merry Christmas. We're gonna install it up here and have both camera that works for real and lights in one place. So we'll see how it goes. Anytime you open up a new box, you always have that moment of truth where you're gonna find out how much work you actually have in store for you. And I was pleasantly surprised. Not much to it. It doesn't get much easier. So basically it's all on one unit. I don't think it's hardwired. Let me read the instructions. Oh yeah, it's hardwired. You plug your ground neutral and uh, hot wires into these. So, piece of cake, no problem. Hello? Hey. It's meant to be installed flat on a wall like this. Once you get your phone synced up with the app, it talks you through what to do. It's meant to be installed by your door on a hard line. I've been spotted on my wall light camera. It's kind of crazy to be taking a video watching myself on video. We are laughing. <laughs> now keep in mind that I just gave the Eufy S100 to John and said, here you go. This is a really cool new product from Eufy. Do the install, use it where you want to use it. And this is what he did. And I thought it was a really creative way to use this. If you don't have a flat surface or a standard outdoor light, he actually used one of his motion sensing lights and adjusted a little bit and positioned the S100 in a place where he could utilize it to cover his driveway and replace his motion lights. What do you guys think of John's installation? Did he get it right? And if you had an S100 from Eufy, where would you install your Eufy S100 light wall cam? That's pretty good, pretty bright. And it's capturing on our device right now as we speak. Oh, you're so ferocious. If you have a dog, that's one level of security. This is a whole other level. And here we have captured a rare sighting of the Homo sapiens house wifeus who is exploring in her native habitat the installation of technology to determine if it will be integrated into her indigenous environment. So there it is, final product. I think it turned out pretty good. 
capturing me as I go by. Hey, what do you think of it? Looks like a spaceship. Uh, looks like a spaceship. Well, yeah. All right, where are you going? Away. Well, John seems to be very happy with his S100. So let's jump into the settings here. So I added the camera and the S100 to my Eufy app. I already have Eufy cameras and love them. And so I added it to my existing account. And here you can see it in the app, the wall light camera. I'm streaming it live right here. You can, of course, do a lot of things right here in the app with the lights and the cameras. In this case right here, what I love is there was like zero latency here when I was rotating the camera because it does rotate 30 degrees both ways. So you can adjust it to get that perfect angle wherever it's mounted. And I could adjust it in real time and really see what it looks like and manually turn the light on right from the app. The light can be super bright. Fortunately, there are dimmers. You can even take screenshots and save video and images right in the app. The lights can be motion activated or scheduled on a timer. And there's also a siren built in. I was really impressed with the amount of options they've built in for the light. Not only can you select daylight settings with cool, soft white, and warm, but you can also select different colors. So if you want to have more of a blue atmosphere, you can do that. Teal, yellow, lots of different color options in here. You can also come in here and choose pretty much any color that you want. You want red color, we can select red, and there's the red. So you can add your own colors in here as well. But these dynamic light effects, these I find very interesting. So for example, this Dream Aurora light right here, if we select that, it's going to go over and have this really cool pulsing effect and go through a variety of colors of the warm. So just really cool dynamic light effects that are built in here. And of course you can even come in here and make your own. So if you have colors that you want, you can select whichever color combination you want and create your own dynamic lighting scene. Now notice right now, even though you select a different lighting scene or one of the dynamic lighting scene, if it detects motion, it's gonna switch to that white light, the security function. Even if you have, say it's Halloween and you've got your orange or purple mood, my mood, click mark that and there we go. Now we have our own custom dynamic light effect. You can also schedule them in here so you can do sunset to sunrise for the light schedule. You can do the light effect schedule. So you can select my mood, choose that as the light effect, set the brightness that you want. And now this is the light effect that will be on the schedule that you choose. Based on your zip code, it will use your sunset and sunrise time. You can also disable the sunset to sunrise and just in, add in a per day time feature. So if you want them to come on at different times, you can also program that all in and schedule up. So lots of different options in here for the lighting effects and just the light settings. So you can also change the light effect that you want to come on when motion is detected. So you can select, say, your custom lighting effect that you chose and make that to be activated when motion is detected. The camera is a 2K camera, and I found it to be extremely sharp, especially when it is recording events. This is an audio test of the Eufy S100. Eufy S100 wall light. The combination of the lights with the camera, and then you add in the audio recording, you've got your bases really covered. It's also super fast to just download any of the recorded clips onto your iPhone or Android if you wanna share them or save them for later viewing. Here's an example of the color night vision on and then turned off. You can see what a big difference it makes with those lights added to the night vision, creating that color night vision versus this traditional black and white night vision. And then we turn the lights on and you get that amazing color night vision. While the futuristic design of the S100 might not be for everyone, I think that it is a very sharp light and it can fit into pretty much any decor. I'm really digging the whole style of this light and notifications come in quick. I also like that when you click on the notification, it goes right to that event so you don't waste any time when you get an alert for human movement. You can also change those settings to adjust it to only notify you based on the certain conditions or events that you want. Here's another example of that light turned on and off. This is on the dimmest possible. This is on the brightest possible. So this is the dimmest. 
And I do have some landscape lights, but it's illuminating this area really nicely. And then this is the brightest. And you can really see how bright it is now and illuminating this whole area light off. This is only landscape lights and light on. Overall, I am loving this S100 from Eufy. They've really come out with a progressive product that combines two very essential needs on the exterior of your house, that being light and security cameras, including an alarm system, and marries that all into a very user-friendly app. It is available to purchase right now, and there is a link in the description of this video. I appreciate you guys' showing support to this channel by using that link. It has four gigabytes of onboard storage, and they also have a cloud-based subscription option, but you don't have to have any fee-based recording straight out of the box, which I absolutely love. The UV S100 shooting at night or during the day is super impressive. This is me letting my dogs out at ridiculous hours of the morning, and this is me carrying insulation to my next man shed build project. So be sure to smash that subscribe button because you're not gonna wanna miss my next man shed build. Uh, one of the most important things after I do a project in the garage, especially if I'm working at night to get it done, is to make sure I didn't leave any screws on the ground. So I will scour the ground. If you see one on the ground, let me know. Because if you see one and you don't tell me, I'm coming for you. <clears throat> oh, wow. I think it turned out good.